you supposed to be in detention hall right now, Dominic? No, ma'am. Is that a uh, cigarette I see? Oh, uh, pardon me, Miss Lynch. Is, is that yours? No. <laughs> oh, uh, pardon me, Mr. Latiri. Is that a cigarette? But I see. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Hey, 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 this is the main brain, Vince Fontaine at Big 15, spinning the stacks of wax here at the House of Wax, WAXX, cruising time, 1046, sharpshooter pick of the week, a brand new one, shooting up the charts like a rocket by Vel Du Rays, going out to Ronnie and Sheila, the kids down at Mom's store, and especially to little Joe and the late aunts. Listen in while I give it a spin. Swedish movie star and might be getting married. Oh no, not Fabian. Hey, French, pass me a ciggy boat, will ya? Oh, me too, while you got the pack out. You want one, Sandy? Oh no, I don't smoke. You sure? Did you ever try it? No. Go on, try it. It ain't gonna kill ya. Okay, so when she lights it, just <laughs> suck it. Don't inhale if you're not used to it. That's yeah. That's okay. You'll get better at it. Then I can teach you how to French inhale. It's really cool. Watch. That's the ugliest thing I've ever saw. Nah, the guys really go for it. That's how I got my nickname, Frenchy. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. A little sneaky peek to get the party going. Italian Swiss colony. Wow, it's important. <laughs> hey, we need some glasses. No, we can just check it out of the bottle. We ain't got foodies. It tastes kind of sweet. I think I like Thunderbird better. Thank you, Princess Grace. I didn't say I didn't want any. It just don't taste very strong. That's all. Hey, I brought some Twinkies. Anyone want one? Twinkies and wine? That's real class, Jan. It says right here it's a dessert wine. <laughs> Hey, Sandy didn't get any wine. Oh, no, I don't mind. Don't tell me you've never had a drink before, either. Sure I did. I had some champagne at my cousin's wedding once. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. <laughs> no, you gotta chug it like this. Yeah, you really? You get results. <laughs> Otherwise, you get air bubbles, and that's what makes you throw up. I never knew that. Sure. Rudy at the Capri Lounge told me the same thing. Hey, Aunt Sandy, you ever wear earrings? I think they keep your face from looking so skinny. Hey, yeah, I got some big ones made out of real mink. They'd look great on ya. Do you want me to pierce your ears for you, Sandy? I'm gonna be a beautician, you know. She's real good, she did mine for me. Oh, no, my father would probably kill me. Do you still worry about what your old man thinks? No, but is it awfully dangerous? You ain't afraid, are ya? No. Good. Hey, Marty, you got a needle around? Hey, how about my virgin pins? Nice to know it's good for something. <laughs> What's that crack supposed to mean? Forget it, Marty. I was just teasing. Yeah, well, tease somebody else. It's my house. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. Ow! Sorry. Ow! Sorry. Uh, hey, French. Why don't you take Sandy and the John? My old lady'd kill me if we got blood all over the rug. Huh? Come on, it only bleeds for a second. Aw, we missed all the fun. Hey, Marty, I need some ice to put on my earlobes. Why don't you just let the cold water run for a little while and then stick her ear under the faucet? Hey, I'm not feeling too well. And Listen, Sandy, if you're gonna be hanging around the pink ladies, you gotta get with it. Otherwise, go back to your hot cocoa and Girl Scouts. Come on, Frenchie. Hey, Aunt Sandy, don't worry. If she screws up, she could always fix your hair so your ears won't show. <laughs> Hardy, har, har. That chick's getting to be a real nerd. Oh, they all frizz. Yeah, she can't help it if she ain't been around. Yeah, well, how long are we supposed to play babysitter for her? What? <coughs> what was that? Hey, Marty, Sandy's sick. She's teething all over the place. Did you wear ears already? No, I only did one. As soon as she saw the blood, she went <coughs> God, what a party poop. Jeez, it's getting kind of chilly. 
I think I'll put my new robe on. Ooh, Ooh. where'd you get that? Oh, you like it? It's from Japan. <laughs> Everything's made in Japan these days. No, this guy I know sent it to me. No kidding. You dating a Japanese guy? He ain't Japanese, stupid. He's a marine and a real doll, too. Hey, Marty, can you get me one of those things? I never knew you knew any marines. How long you know this guy? Uh, just a couple of months. I met him on a blind date at the roller rink, and the next thing I know, he joins up. Anyway, <laughs> right off the bat, he starts sending me things. And then today, I got this kimono. Oh, yeah. And look what else. Ooh, oh, neat. It's a little bit too big, so I've got to get some Angora for it. Jeez. Engage to Marine. Envil. Hey, what's this guy look like, Marty? You got a picture? Yeah, but it's not too good. He ain't in uniform. Ah, here it is, right next to Paul Anka. How's Linda Brickin now? Oh, his old girlfriend was in the picture. What's this guy's name, Marty? Oh, it's Freddy. Freddy Strolka. He a Polak? Nah, I think he's Irish. You write him a lot, Marty? Pretty much. Every time I get a present. What do you say to a guy in a letter anyways? Freddy, my love, I miss you more than words can say. Uh, 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 oh. Freddy, my love, please keep in touch while you're away. Ooh, yeah. Hearing from you can make the day. Freddy, my love, Freddy, my love. 